Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Empowering Morning Conversations. Conversations that are designed to allow us to live a life of ease, joy, and glory. Conversations designed to allow us to take the maximum benefit of our life, of our existence. Conversations that are designed to allow us to create a life that we love and get out of the survival mode and get into a creation. So welcome to you on this 74th Republic Day, 74 years of enjoying freedom. So congratulations to each and every one of you, to each and every one of us. So today morning, I was thinking that if we have to get the most of our life, we'll have to start doing something. And that doing something is creating life intentionally, moment by moment, instead of living a default life. All right. And what will not allow that creation to happen is the fact that we get stuck in whatever it is that we are stuck in. It's like being stuck in a daldal, you know, in a, in a quicksand. And we are stuck because we make ourselves get stuck. And how do we get stuck? Because we are stuck in a cycle of resistance and reaction and resistance. So if today I want to create a life, we will have to stop resisting. So what will it take to stop resisting? So let us do, I want to do a process today which will liberate us from this. Okay. So is everybody all right with it? I want us all to close our eyes and take a long deep breath and let go and relax. Take a long deep breath and let go and relax. Take a long deep breath, and let go and relax. Okay. And we will start to identify all the things that we are resisting. So let's start with what are we resisting about our own self? What is it about yourself that you resist? Yeah, be aware of it. What is it that about yourself that you resist? Get in touch with those feelings of resistance you have. Resistance to yourself. Become aware of the thoughts associated with it. Become aware of the feelings and sensation and sensations associated with your own resistance to yourself. Now what energy, space and consciousness can you be that would allow you to give up your resistance to yourself? And anything that is times of Godzillion stopping you from doing that, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes, right and wrong, good and bad, poor and poor, all nine shorts, boys, poor and beyond. What is it that you're resisting in your own thinking? What is it that you're resisting about your own personality? What is it that you're resisting about yourself once again? And what energy, space, consciousness will you be that would allow you to give up your resistance to yourself? And anything that is times of Godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all? 
I do wrong, I do bad, I do wrong, I show up stories, I provide them work. What is it that you're resisting about other people in your life? What is it that you are resisting about other people in your life? What is it that you are resisting about other people in your life? I'm aware of that. What is it that you are resisting about other people in your life? What is it that you're resisting about other people in your life? What energy, space and consciousness can you be that would allow you to destroy and uncreate all of that? Anything that comes in the way of that, are you willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes, right and wrong, good and bad, poor and bow, all right, shorts, boys, poets and beyond. What are the situations in your life that you are resisting? What are the current situations in your life that you are resisting? The current circumstances in your life that you are resisting? Become aware of that. What energy, space and consciousness can you be that would allow you to stop resisting the current situations or circumstances in your life? And anything that is times of God's alien, destroy and uncreate it all? Yes? Right and wrong, good and bad, poor and poor, online short, boys, poems and beyond. What are you resisting about the future? What are you resisting about the imagined future that you have? What energy, space and consciousness will you be that would allow you to destroy and uncreate it all? Anything that is times a godzillion that stops you from doing that, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, put and put, nine short voice and be what? What else are you resisting in your life? What energy, space and consciousness can you be that would allow you to stop resisting whatever you're resisting in your life? And anything that is times of Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, poor and poor, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. Now imagine that you are free from resistance. Imagine that now you are free from all your resistances. And how does that make you feel? And what does that make possible? You're free from all resistance. You're in a state of complete allowance. And be in that state of expansiveness that becomes available to you when you allow yourself to be in a state of total allowance. And a state of total allowance becomes available to you when you stop resisting. When you stop resisting yourself, when you stop resisting the persona you are, then you can stop pretending to be somebody else. And you can be you. And you can be the you that you truly are. And what life will open up for you when you allow yourself to do that?
and this wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary being will come forth So what is going to be possible now in your life? Be aware of your life as a complete possibility, a blank canvas in which you can write anything. All right. So take another long deep breath. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. And whenever you're ready, you can raise your hand and share what you want to share, if you want to share. Yes, ready, Garu. Good morning, sir. Morning. Uh, when I thought about myself, I am always resisting, sir. In every situation. Yeah. Okay. So now. Have you been able to let go of it? Yes, sir. So how does that make you feel? Yeah, good, sir. And what becomes possible when we stop wasting our energy in resisting? So think about that. That's it. Because yes, a lot of we yeah, are you, are in, you are in allowance. Yes, sir. But and when you are in allowance, what becomes possible in life? That's what I want you to think about. Yeah. Okay, sir. See, because all the energy that is going in resisting can now be channelized for creating. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yes, sir. You know, notice that energy and attention. Mm -hmm energy and focus is all going on resisting and now that is freed from that then where will you put your energy and attention so interesting possibilities will open up isn't it yes sir all right let's listen to somebody else also thank you ready garu Yes, Shanti ji. Uh, good morning, sir, and good morning, everyone. Morning. I think, uh, when we stop uh, resistance and when we make uh, space for uh, allowance, uh, you can create anything. As you said, that if we become a blank slate and you can write whatever you want both for present and for future. So. Wonderful. So now that you become a blank canvas, what do you want to write in it? Whatever I want, I can write. Yeah, good. So what are you going to write then? A peaceful life, sir. I think it is possible to have a peaceful, prosperous life. Maybe <laughs> my health is not that okay now, but I can live with it in a peaceful way. I need not resist my unhealthy thing, unhealthy physique. Yeah. And there is possibility that I can live peacefully. Yeah, there is a possibility. 
that you can be healed completely also. Yes, sir. See, when you stop resisting it, whatever is happening to you, you may even make a space for you to be healed. Yes, sir. Possible, sir. Yeah. See, right now you don't believe it, do you? Yes, sir. I don't believe it, sir. Because doctors are, doctors are already... Doctors are not gods. Yes, they are not gods. So I am judging. I have a strong limiting belief. <clears throat> and which stops you from believing that you can be okay? So it all begins with your willingness to believe that you're going to be whole and complete and healed. Because doctors' reports are saying, and I believe all that, rather yeah. than the belief in rather than the self-belief. Exactly, because the world is not designed to strengthen your self-belief. No. Yes, sir. But you are designed to strengthen your strength. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are evidences also, like Louis A. and so many other people. We have heard of it. We think it is miracle and they are blessed. Why? Right? You have met the uh, Juanita you have met. She has come and addressed our group. She yes, has sir. She from, also... from cancer. Yes, sir. She also told that she has reversed cancer. That's right. So if somebody can do it, you can also do it now. But you have to start believing. Yes, sir. First, Deep it deep. starts with self-belief. Yeah, It starts with giving up the resistance to the disease, giving up the resistance to yourself because you have got the disease. Yes, sir. Yeah, because your resistance is keeping it in place, no? Yes, sir. It cannot change as long as you are going on resisting it. Yes, sir. That is why people's life has, doesn't change also, no? In your case, it's an illness. Yes, sir. But for other people who have no illness, they are making themselves ill no, with all their resistance. It may be mental illness. Yes, sir. I got it, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it starts like that, you know, and then it becomes a physical illness also. You know? Yes, sir. So what energy, space and consciousness can I be that allow will allow me to drop all my resistance? And anything that is times a godzillion and coming in the way of that, will I destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. yes sir. Right and wrong, good and bad, poor and poor, online shots, boys, poor ads and beyonds. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, who else? All those who did the exercise, uh, most welcome to yes priya sir the conversations at my home would be more joyful and stress free mm -hmm. as i can see and judgments would not be there i mean not would not be there i won't say it would be less and i can say that whatever i'm thinking it's an interesting point of view Hmm, very good. Congratulations. Priya, 20 minute ki picture thi, khatam ho gai. Ab wapas waise hi hone wale ho kya? <laughs> nahi, nahi. Be apne upar kaam kar rahe ho. Uh, so did you drop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you drop the resistance? If you did, then you will start to see all these things happening in your life. How? That. If you have to hai, what you desire in your life, that will start happening when you stop resisting what is happening? You know? Oh. But until you drop that resistance, things will remain the same. So I hope that in the exercise and the process that we did, you have actually dropped some resistance. Yes, some I did. Not all, but some. That's why I can say, yeah, joyful communication, like conversations can happen. Yes. I can laugh on things which I don't want to hear from people. 
Great, fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay, so who else? So very nice, thank you very much. Okay. Hi, Sudipak, can I share? Yes, you can. Uh, see, I think I have some, a lot of incompletion regarding money. You know, I, I think he, uh, from time to time, you know, I think uh, that they are handled, but now, uh, when today I realize it's actually not handled. And the incompletions are that I actually, uh, you know, I have a fear that, uh, you know, in the past I had a lot of money and people just took it from me. Or I see that in, in my father's case, uh, I think he had no money at all. And when he has money, then he, you know, people will come to him for help and he will give them money and that money will never come. Sometimes it will come back, but most of the time it will not come back. Also a conversation, you know, uh, you know, I was thinking, what is it, my value systems? In fact, what I tell my dad is, whatever money you have right now, please give it to your granddaughter. So at least she will get it. <laughs> give everything to your granddaughter which is my daughter so uh, you know like uh, I actually resist making money and, and I do get that you know all these rich people like Bill Gates you know they have lost a lot of money uh, you know in the past also but for me like losing money is this should not happen I should not lose money so I resist actually losing money and which stopped me from actually taking steps to make a lot of money. And that money can actually make a difference. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm myself not sure about what I want to say or what I'm thinking. Well, that's fine. But there is an incompletion. Yeah. So what you are resisting? Have you been able to drop the resistance in that exercise that we did? No, I don't think so, yeah. Okay, so you want to hold on to your resistance? No, I don't want to. Yeah, so how many things we said, what are you resisting about yourself? What are you resisting about people? What are you resisting about situations? What are you resisting about the future? You looked at all that? Uh, uh, see, there were part of the exercise which I missed because of uh, some uh, connection issue, but uh, I did look, yes. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing. Yes, Asina Ji. Sir, after the exercise, I felt the fe feeling of freedom, literally. A feeling of freedom from negative thoughts mm. which is going on. And I'm, I really got that. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for willing to do the exercise properly. And yeah. congratulations. Thank you. All right. Anybody else who wants to share something? So yes, now sir. one person has joined now. Do you think he'll get any benefit out of joining? Yes, very well. After that, Gautam. I get uh, some insight like without realizing this uh, so far in my life, how much relationship I would have hurt, believing that my stupid judgment was right. So, at this rest of the life, I can save in terms of relationship. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Yes, Gautam Ji. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning to everybody. And uh, today is a very auspicious day, and which is a we should salute to the leaders who have given their life to get our. However, uh, my uh, when I doing the exercise, I drop resistance. I was having uh, some uh, not having the things. I have not got this whatever I desire. So that is a I, I can drop it. I am that free mind. I can go ahead and see the going for the uh, better life, ease, joy, and glory. That helping me. And yeah. when I doing the exercise, yeah, I I, I was dropped that uh, all my desire and feeling free. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much for sharing that. 
All right, who else? <laughs> All right, so let me request Mr. Kamal Dupre to entertain us with some shairi. <clears throat> Kamal ji, on this great occasion. Morning, sir. Achha, you, you talk about resistance. So even I'm contemplating, there are so many things, situation I'm I'm also resisting. No, for example, earlier I used to resist the uh, driving because, uh, you know, accident ke baad I resist to drive but when i'm saying like what are the possibilities so that you know i start I again put my car on the on a highway and go wherever i want to go because right now i'm independent same way you know i'm resisting to be to get change yeah i'm in a comfortable zone as a coach has shared make us was not a there are possibilities. So, uh, Thank you, Kamal. Thank you, Shari. Thank you, Very good. Thank you very much for sharing it. So I have another thing for everyone to think about. How many of you actually resist success? <laughs> yeah, consciously or unconsciously, how many of you are resisting success? Abhinav, I hope you are listening. Your connection is good. Yes, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do resist a lot of success. Okay. So what energy and space and consciousness can you be that would allow you to drop your resistance to success? And anything that is coming in the way of that, times of Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, for and poor, one and shorts, boys, for wives and beyond. Yes, Yantiji. Shantiji. Sir, uh, I'm resisting success, sir. That's why I get into this illness. i resisting peace. Interesting, isn't it? Yes, sir. We want success, but we are resisting it. We want peace, but we are resisting it. Yes, sir. It is happening in a subconscious way or in an unconscious state. So, so thank you. Now, I hope you are now dropping your resistance. And with that, I would like to uh, close today's session. And I request Mr. Kamal Dupre to give us the benefit of his shairi. And okay. after that, we'll invite Kunan Saab to Present Shari. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Kamal. Ek Shari Haki. Usnekia Rakhi Hai Meri Gumrahiki. Usnekia Laj Rakhi Hai Meri Gumrahiki. Give me but who to but a curvy of stuck pochu. Okay, the looks of a tango with a malumni. You have honored my absence also. So that even if I go astray, I can easily come back to you. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay, Kunenji. Go ahead. Kamalji, you are very Thank you. Deep meaning. Today, the 26th of January, two lines are in the same place. In the same place, our blood is not रगों में हमारे खून नहीं जुनून दौड़ता है और तिरंगा ही है जो हम सबको एक साथ जोड़ता है तिरंगा ही है जो हम सबको एक साथ जोड़ता है भारत माता की जय वंदे मातरम और हम लाए हैं तूफान से किश्ती निकाल के इस देश को रखना मेरे बच्चों संभाल के संभाल के 
ये गाना आजकल बड़ा अप्रोप्रिएट हो रहा है यस शांति जी एंड देन अभिनव जी फर्स्ट लेडीज यस शांति जी दर इज तिरकुरल बट आई नो आई डोंट नो द कंप्लीट तिरकुरल बट इट स्टार्ट्स विद उल्लवदेल्लाम उयर उल्लल द मीनिंग इज व्हाट एवर यू थिंक थिंक of higher things higher thinkings have higher thinkings let that be your higher thinking right and Not that can only negative, happen negative thinking right it can only happen when you stop resisting na yes sir beautiful thank you very much yes abina you also have to yeah, yeah 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 i just want to share my thoughts on 26th of january uh, we, uh remember when we were young sukdeepak you and me you know india was a country which was uh, you know uh us a high like we were we were we did not matter we, i remember in 1990 when i joined international business india did not matter the, all the goras were not paying any attention to us our faxes to them they used to just throw it into the they did not even it's like remember you receiving a fax from angola and you will not pay attention to that and you know today india is uh, uh, you know when we look at our country it's like a future superpower you know maybe we will be the uh, in the next 10 years we will be third largest economy in the world we already the fifth largest economy so the question is what is being uh, a superpower means does it mean that we will dominate the world no i think for india superpower means you know a, a country which will make a huge difference to the world that is the kind of superpower we want to be wonderful That's what i want to share a country which makes a difference to the planet wonderful wonderful thank you dal par sone ki chidiya karti hai basera wo bharat desh mein hai all right guys so you have a wonderful republic day go and enjoy the flag hoisting or whatever else you're going to do and i'll see you tomorrow morning for another empowering morning conversation bye god bless everyone bless everybody bye